Well, good morning, guys. Casey with Knutson Outdoors here. And as you guys can feel outside, it's getting to be that time of year where we're going to be sitting on some hard water ice fishing. I didn't really get time to get out fishing right now. I'm going to be heading to work tomorrow. I did see that there was a couple guys on the lake that's right north of me. So I figured to make a video to get us prepared for when I get back and get into the ice fishing, I'd show you guys what my new setup is this year. So as I stated in some of my earlier videos, I did get rid of my snow bear this year, but I did get something pretty awesome. And we're gonna show you what it is today. I'm gonna set it up and we're gonna take a look at it. So, what I got right here, ugh, it ain't it ain't light, I can tell you that. But this is the Otter Monster Lodge. And it's pretty simple design. It's a pretty much like a double pop-up and it's gonna be really good for what I have planned for it this year which be ice camping the price of fuel these days i mean we'll head down on the ice and if we go there we're probably going to spend two days there and do a little bit of overnight camping so what i bought was the overnight or the otter lodge <clears throat> and we're going to see what we can make happen with this we're going to set it up today and then i'm going to show you kind of what it looks like all set up what i have for the inside everything like that so stay tuned i'm gonna probably show you a little deal here with setting it up and then we'll go around and take a look at it i'll talk to you guys here in just a minute So basically, like I said, it's two pop-ups just basically connected. And in the back part right here, this is at least what my plan is if I'm by myself, is I'll have my bed right here. I mean, I got buckets here and I got a table right here. Might have a TV with for something to watch while I'm sitting here. Usually, I don't really need that, but just a table to put my minnows, my cooler up on there and everything. I'll have my little uh, little uh, heat plate deal sitting there for making food. I got my ice auger sitting there. I actually purchased the 10 inch ion this year and I actually ordered two of them. So I figured I already ordered it and got it in there. Might as well have it for a spare if I need it. So. Right here we got the front where I'll have my heater and the awesome part about these ones is your hose that comes out. It's got a hole right here for it to, for your hose to come out so you ain't got to put it underneath of it. So that's pretty awesome. Got the Garmin sitting right there. They'll be sitting in front of me. I'll be able to sit in my chair, fish right here have the Garmin pointed right towards me. I got this light here, just to lighten it up in here, but 
Now, got my chair, nice little shields chair. Got my bed, little cot. I am buying a little foam for it. I'm gonna try it out real quick. I haven't even laid in it yet. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. It ain't the most comfortable without a pad. But it'll do. Nice and sturdy, pretty light. And I'm thinking I'll have enough room. I'll probably have a couple jaw jackers right here, have a jigging rod right there. And possibly one of my, I'll probably always drill a hole back here just to put my uh, iFish Pro in. So this is the inside. We got nice netting up here for putting stuff. I probably put my, my uh, clothes up here, spare clothes, so it stays nice and warm. I'm going to be able, I'm going to buy a couple little hooks for up here so I can hang my boots up there and everything nice size windows it's got a nice one right here i could be laying down check out there if i got a ifish pro or anything sitting out there and i'll take you a little tour on the outside here so this thing's pretty awesome it's got oversized covering on the bottom really nice i like that and inside of here we got pockets where your deals go so they ain't got to be sitting out all the time that's pretty nice and then right here you can put when you're doing your oh, hold on just a second I'm trying to hold the camera and this at the same time okay so basically this does is you'll drill your anchor down right here and then you'll pull this and that'll keep this little corner right here now it'll just stiffen it up more on that side and one thing i really like is this beacon right here it just goes in right on the side it's got a little battery that you can put in so yes i do have floor matting i have those actually up in my side by side that is up in kenmare so i got all that stuff already in my side by side ready to go but i figured i'd let you guys see the full size of this thing everything set up inside of it obviously it only took me about 20 minutes to set this up it's going to be a little different when you're out in the cold winds blowing everything like that and i probably will do a video on setting it up when i get out there so yeah that's kind of basically pretty much everything really thick tarp on it um yeah so right now we did walk across the river while we were deer hunting that's thick enough to hold you my brother drove across the lake the other day a day ago and there was people out fishing out on the ice they were even fish walking out into the channel so unfortunately i gotta be heading to work here tomorrow so i won't be around for <clears throat> two weeks but when i get back i'm hoping that we're over 10 11 inches of ice i can get the new side by side out we can get cruising out on the ice we can maybe set this thing up and do an all-day fish start right away in the morning get there in the dark get set up and just kind of hang out the whole day so that's kind of what my game plan is for when i get back you won't see another video for me for probably well at least two weeks maybe come home spend a couple days at home first before i make a video but i do plan to get out there we're going to catch some walleye the lake that's right north of me we were catching a lot of big perch on there so i'm definitely going to try to target some perch I don't plan to keep those perch, but I do plan to target them and try and see if we can pull some nice ones up through the ice. So I think that's pretty much what I got for a video for today. 
if you guys own one of these or you guys plan to let me know what you guys think and if there's anything else that you guys want me to go through with on it I will basically the big thing now is to get it out on the ice and see how it works out I know with all the other otter products that I've had everything is perfect with them they're definitely warm this stuff is really thick and it just goes together really good so that's my plan guys so two weeks I'll see you guys out on the ice hopefully unless something happens with the weather but I plan to be out on the ice in two weeks if you guys are getting out on the ice be safe Make sure you're checking your ice. Make sure that you got ice picks with. Make sure that you're just taking all the precautions you can. And I will see you guys here in two weeks. Hopefully with a really good video catching some walleye and perch. I'll talk to you guys here in a bit. Thanks.